Oh, hello. How is it going? How's it going? Oh, how y'all doing today? It's Friday. Air, water, fire, earth. All right. How y'all doing? It is Friday. What's up, Kanoke? Okay, okay, okay. Kanoke. Okay. Hey, y'all. It's going better now. Why when I was in there, okay, doing a little one-two? Because I ain't doing too much this week. It has been very much so a long week. Now, here's the thing also, real quick. Because when I was in there doing a little one-two, that's the first thing. I was like, who crying? Let me ask them who been crying, okay? And what are the, the steps that you are taking to resolve whatever it is that you got going on, what you're going through? Help me figure it out. Okay, some, some moving back there. Is some stuck in the hair? I feel like it might be a squirrel in my damn hair. Whatever. That's the one thing. Who been crying? What you been crying about? Have you been really delving deep into those emotions? I know it can be frustrating. It can be uncomfortable. Okay. I understand. It was you. Who is that? Brenda been crying. Okay, Kano. We okay. We gonna have to do it later on, Kano. I'm gonna be with you on that. We gonna listen to some Shaka Khan. Let me rock with you, Shaka Khan. So that's the one thing. Who been crying? All right. Thank you. Let's get it together on who been crying. Have a kumbaya. Um, the other thing is, since that eclipse, that that Libra um, new moon and the eclipse that went on or what have you, a lot of people were going through a lot of things. Now, I for whatever reason, I wasn't um, in the middle of that, but I was kind of mad because I wasn't in the middle of it because I have a lot to teach from. Um, my experiences is, you know, it's kind of like you either the way that you learn. Let's put it like that. A lot of stuff I don't need to learn. I don't need the experience to know that I just see that that's fucked up. Okay. But um, a lot of people were going up and through some things. So while I've been out and about this week, it's been an out and about and about and out. Okay. This is usually the time I go into hibernation even more so. But apparently more is being called for me to do out here in these streets. Amongst other things. Um, the indie reads are, the new indie reads are on Patreon as well as the homework. In the homework, I did discuss about, um, a, a sighting. Okay. That's the other part of the eclipse. If you ain't been paying attention to the sky, I don't know why. Okay. Maybe some of y'all don't want to know what's going on in the sky. You know, that ain't your business and I'm happy for you. I wish. I was telling a friend of mine again, I say, I wish that, you know, things would go back to normal. What is normal? I appreciate y'all and I thank y'all. What is normal? What is normal? What does that mean? How does that look? How does that smell? How does that feel <laughs> in this world? What is normal? Somebody please tell me. If I were to define what normal is for me, that probably would be a lot going on. It might just be a sci-fi movie, what normal is to me. So what is normal to you? Figure that out and, and come to terms with your new normal. Because after the scam, I mean, we realize some things, okay? Those of us who are left here to realize, because a lot of folks don't walk, rolled up out of here in the past few years. Now, it ain't to say that folks don't roll up and out of here on a regular basis. We are not saying that. We understand this is part of life, and death is part of life. Life is part of death. Especially if you've had a near-death experience. So much has been going on in the astral. I came to terms with some things when I, you know, was somebody sent me something and I was like, well, I'll be damned. Look at them. Because they were looking right at the, the camera. Bold than a motherfucker. I just want to know, this is my thing about, you know, for those who witness a lot of things, discuss with a lot of beings, who would have you? What I want to know is, because it's good ones, it's bad ones, it's some in-between ones. That's why they just said that, oh, the spiritual world. Baby, it's bigger than the spiritual world. <laughs> what else you think going on? Now, we all do know this. We've been knowing this for years. Been knowing this. A lot of y'all grew up knowing this. 
It's a whole other level of the game now, ain't it? They need to go ahead. Instead of gearing the people up, because they done fucked up. Because I'm pretty sure if you got technology that tell you when somebody else is flying across and coming up and through her, they got some type of technology that we probably never heard about or seen that let them know when the motherfucker's coming up and through her. Because the girl sent me the video of the motherfucker coming and then a day later the motherfucker leaving. Sir, I need to find out what's in that craft. Okay. Came to terms with it. Came to terms with um, when it comes to celestial beings, number of things, as above, so below, all around, there we go. I'm trying to figure it out. All in between. What do you mean? Okay. You got to find out what side of the game you coming, how you coming, when you coming. All right. But well, we finna get into the reads in a second. I'm trying to figure it out. I had to come to terms with some things. Okay. Letting these folks just come out here and do whatever they want to. Ain't gearing your people up. We got to figure it out ourselves. What's going on? Who they fucking with? How they, fight, how they fucking with folks? What to do when you in the presence of? What type of people are they messing with? Fucking with? What kind of um, engineering they coming down here to do? Because when the thing crossed across the screen, it, it floated across there, and I stopped it a little bit right there. I'm like, wait a minute. Because, you know, we see stuff in orbs. We see stuff in everything. There is no way that you can't see something in whatever, right? You know the difference between what is actually um, some type of supernatural um, being and what just was a, uh, it could be a figment of your imagination. I remember they tried to take me off my square by saying, I was wondering if um, it do this. When you see stuff, do it mean this? When I see stuff, it say what the fuck it is because you can call it out. Come closer. So, okay. Yeah, then. I told it. I looked, stopped the thing right there, and it was staring right at the camera. Sir, what the fuck are you doing? Where you going? And the person that sent it to me was like, they wanted to know if, you know, they, they had something to worry about. No, they didn't. This is going down the street. That's what, it, that's what it just said. It's going down the street. Then it left a day later. And you couldn't, when I kept on looking, trying to see if it was still looking at the camera, wasn't looking at the camera no more. They bold. They ain't bold for nothing. I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. And that happened right after we did the Mudras, uh, what was it, last week or a few days ago, four, five, six days ago, whatever days ago it was, she sent me that. The Mudras had that in there, something similar to that. Don't nobody got time to be playing with these, these folks. Trying to figure it out. They're not possessing people. They are just interfering. It's a takeover. And people who do all this work and all these things that they do, they're going to have to strengthen up, go back to school on some shit. Because I thought about that earlier, too. I thought about <clears throat> how when there's um, interference or whatever it is going on, it's like the equivalent of... We gonna be trying to find out what the diagnosis is. So you go to a spiritualist and try to figure out what the, what is the diagnosis? What is it that is going on? Thank you, Maya. What is going on? What is the diagnosis? What is it, the issue? What is the thing that we need to? And what is this prescription? What are we gonna have to do to pull this up and out of the, the uh, atmosphere? Figure out what's going on. Well, things have changed, and I had to learn that two years ago. This is a whole different level of the game. So when you're going into things that are a whole nother level of the game, it's certain people that's just not going, they're going to think that, oh, you just need to do a spiritual bath for that. That is it's another level of the game out here. That's why on a regular basis, I'd be like, I am so happy and so grateful. I am so thankful and so grateful that a lot of y'all don't have to go through some of the shit I done seen. Because they are not gearing people up for this. And then you have people who um, profess to do certain things. You're going to have to have different types of people that specialize in different types of things on your team. I'm just trying to figure it out. Because the shit I done seen, you would never think that it would, you're going to need some type of help. And it ain't going to be the type of help that, that you already are aware of. You're going to have to find this other type of help going on out here. So, I just say that to say this, ho, it's still in the sky. It's in the air. And it's going to stay there. Till they come down here fucking with people. Because that thing look right at me. Well, not right at the camera. The fuck you think I'm finna do? Sir, what the fuck are you doing? Infiltrating. That thing was going over there to go start some mess at somebody's house. And that also, I would like to say as well, 
Remember when um I was real adamant when I was going through whatever that was I was going through and I came back on her instead of um going oh I'm a devout Christian and all that because I don't believe in uh being restricted to a certain type of space. Okay, so I don't push my beliefs on nobody else, but I had told a lot of y'all y'all need to go back to the foundation of your beliefs. Cool, because that's where a lot of strength is. All right. When you are learning something new or um, incorporating something new, you still have to have some of those same foundational beliefs and practices before moving forward. Okay. So, I told y'all to go on back. Find you a good place to go and go on back over there. Didn't look. All right. So, then you find that what you go back to don't appear the same. It ain't the same. Something is different. Something has changed because it's part of your process. So you figure that out as well. How does it work now? Because you don't go back and try to make it uh, pull yourself back into that part of the timeline where it began. Because we talk about generations. All right. So we're just going to leave that at that. But I would really like for them to, uh, you know, give the people more information. Or for those of you who are watching, because a lot of them do watch, but they don't say anything. They just watch and move on. They come over here and read the energy and all that, and then they move on. Um, these are wanderers, but they are very powerful wanderers. Okay. And the thing about these wanderers, they have a lot of powers that they can use for this type of situation going on. Okay. I did notice as well. That um, I think it's Miss Monica that be saying stuff about NPCs, non-playable characters, and things of that nature or whatever. So I don't know what it is that y'all are calling NPCs when it comes to this whole um thing that is going on. I don't call them that. I call them bitches. What the fuck they is, bitches. Don't want to confuse them with hoes. All right. And um, you know, there's a lot of um things that are going on with the allowance of those things to be able to play in this, in this realm. See what I mean? See what I mean? When, when I say you're going out there fucking with shit and then when stuff come back over here, fucking with stuff, then you're not well geared, gifted to, and that's what they be doing. Going over there, fucking with shit, opening portals, going through, cause that's what they be doing. If they are making it outside of, this, uh, which they are, a lot of people be like, they're not really going out of space. Yes, they are. I don't know what else to tell you. They are actually going to outer space. They are actually opening portals. They are, they are actually um, trading. 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 Bartering. Okay. They are actually doing that. But if you don't know what you're dealing with and if the person or the thing, we're going to say the person, we're going to say the person. If the person that you are um, discussing certain information with from over there or what have you, hey, baby, come on in. You discussing information with the, the person over there and you are realizing that, uh, well, you don't realize because number one, I wouldn't trust the motherfuckers. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. You are handling business, business. It's business. Okay. You handling business with these other folks over here. And they telling you how things go. And you got, more than likely, you got a translator. Right? More than likely, you got a translator. Or someone who's well-versed in communicating. Because they do have those. My thing is, what makes you think that you understand everything going on? What makes you think, like... How did how did the handshake even start? I don't know, and I'm not trying to find out, but eventually I will. Okay, I just get pissed off when they are doing all this stuff, then open these portals and all that, then some of the the scragglers, right? Some of they thugs, they hoodlums. It's thugging. That thing that crossed that screen was a hoodlum. Look right at the camera. It's a hoodlum. It didn't try to shape shift. It didn't try to change itself. It was a hoodlum. Thug, ghetto, alien, a criminal, a hoodlum. I ain't say no damn hoodlum, a hoodlum. I don't feel like playing like that. It was a fucking hoodlum. 
Oh, you fixed it. My bad, Brittany. Okay, see, I was too. I was in my alien bag. So, when I be talking about what, whatever it is that y'all got going on, what y'all are going through, or what it is, the way that you need to use your gifts, and how you have found to use your gifts, and all these things right here, bitch, refine, refine, refine. Cultivate, cultivate, cultivate. Stand on it. <laughs> we gonna need you. We gonna need you. Don't be out here trying to compete with other folks and what they got going on. You are meant to stand on what you stand on, how you stand on it. Because you get caught too much up in this world trying to, oh, uh, compete, compete, compete. And you get into that lower vibration energy where that motherfucker going to cross the screen and be going to your house, Nick. Keep playing. Because I really don't think, like, that's why children under the age of 12 are um, su um, susceptible. Protecting the children under the age of 12 is very important. Um, there's a lot of feeding on uh, the purity, the light, as well as the star. You got to protect your child's star. Okay? If I would have known then what I know now, things would be a little different in the life. Okay? I'm just saying. Okay, that's for my sci-fi people. All right, because we know the deal. And it ain't about who knows and who don't know, bitch. Come on, let's go. Can't be out here. And I am so happy that I have been in touch with some beautiful energies that are ready to step up, right? They are really coming into a space where they are saying yes to their process. I am so happy to even be working with or have worked with these types of people. does something to me because you know after all these years and working with different types of people and then seeing where you know i know here i go here i go here i go oh lulu you can't i know that you can't think that everybody gonna do this and do i know that chill out i still can't i cannot be a little bit upset am i not humanish okay trying to figure it out figure this shit out man that's why I also told people to be mindful. Like, you go where you are led is where you are fed. If it don't feel right, it probably ain't right. And if it does feel right, you got to ask yourself, why does it feel right? What is it feeding? Because you could, you got people who could be doing some dastardly things, feeding a lower part of their nature that they own that I won't, I got to have. Um, uh, it's just a power trip. It's a power trip. And power trips usually are what um, causes a lot of dismantling, dysfunctioning, and defragmenting in the people. Yeah. All right. So, Kanoke. Where Kanoke at? Let me see what y'all see. Make sure y'all like the video, please. It is, Brittany. That's why you... It's important. Like, I think it was last year because I didn't know about how all of the... Um, the how the economy was going down and how all this stuff was going to happen. But at the end of the day, what it boils down to is back to you. Back to... Thank you, Kano. Okay, so you're going to be here for a minute, Kano. Because I want to do 20 minutes for each one tonight. Because um, what I've noticed is also, what I've noticed is that um, when I do the collective reads for each collective realm, earth, water, air, fire, when I go to do the indie reads, even if I don't do the indie reads till next Sunday for the week, right? Because I do them weekly. Even if I don't do the inner reads until then, I still pick up the individual stories that connect to the collective read for each one of the signs. It may be a little, um, it'll be more information, then, but it separates the signs. It's actually interesting the way that that had been working out. I was like, because I didn't notice at first. And then I went back and looked. I was like, I'll be down. Okay, well, we're going to keep moving. All right. Okay, Kanoke. I love it, Iris. I love it. Um, I think that's all that I wanted to discuss because I was, you know, it's like. If I knew then what I know now. Also, I always tell your ops, thank you. You don't have to tell them thank you to their face. You don't have to send a long text message, email. No nothing. I always have gratitude for what it is somebody tried to put you through in order for you to continue to pursue. Okay? Because what don't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, what don't kill you makes you stronger. 
Did you figure that out? Welcome to the driveway. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate the support, BB. Welcome to the driveway. All right. So let me just get these rattled down and we're going to get hopping. So we have air, water, fire, earth. Air, water, fire, earth. That hexagon. Remember on the Moodles the other day? Real quick, y'all calm down. It's Friday. Y'all chilling. The hexagon, um, I went and looked up the meaning of it, and it had like uh, the way that something with prayer and the connecting forces. I don't have my other phone in here, as per usual. But if you looked up the hexagon, and um, there were different meanings for it, but that was the first meaning that popped up on my, um, what you call it, my thing. When I looked up the hexagon, I was like, okay, that makes sense. For the information that came through, I believe, for the air signs the other day. All right? It's easy to keep up with these YouTube collective reads. <laughs> When it's uh, those four elements. All right. Remember to, um, you can hold a question here. Mm. All right. For what it is that you may want to hear that confirms, affirms or confirms. Try not to have anything confirmed from your lower self. Okay. I knew that motherfucker was cheating. Do you have facts? I don't need facts. I had a dream. I almost turned left at the wrong place. Got out. Do you have facts? God. Damn, stressing me out. I don't need facts. It just seemed like. It seemed like. Plus, you confirmed that I, what I was thinking about this motherfucker cheat. You still need facts. God, dog. Got her breaking up with that person and knowing that you don't even know nothing. Now you mad at the next 10 people that you meet. All of them like that. How? You dated all of them? You gave all of them a, a chance. <laughs> all right. What do you have here for these beautiful air signs? Uh, it's a blue 32 flea flicker. Blue 32. All right. 31. Inner true. This is the throat chakra. Maybe dealing with a Taurus. Hello. Throat chakra popping. Throat chakra popping. Speak your truth. Uh, Three, moves into a one, creating a four. Whatever it is that you need to say, how you need to say it is going to bring a lot of balance into your life. Go ahead and speak on it. Align before speaking. Get out your feelings before speaking. All right. Somebody needs to, uh, a truth is being revealed to a person that um, maybe you've been dealing with three years, three months. It's a three. Okay. But um, this is a, a new start, a new way of uh, moving forward when it comes to the coupling. I get coupling. Now, when I think of a coupler, the first thing, what I saw was, remember, I don't know if y'all remember, but back in the day when you um, needed to extend your phone cord in the, your house, your landline phone, it's a couple, coupler, coupler. And you stick one end here and then another end goes here. It, it was like, um, yeah, a coupler. So it's something about connecting like that, okay? Connecting and, and maybe you um, you need to find, okay, so one, one, Three, the coupler is the third piece, right? So whatever this is that you need to balance and connect to. Did we go over this the other day a little bit? But it was in a different way, wasn't it? It kind of seemed like it. I might be tripped out. Once you plug into this from both ends. Okay. Plugging in from both ends. Ooh, I don't know what kind of freak shit y'all on. Um, the coupling, all right? Maybe y'all are cuff in cuffing season. What's up, Porsche Daddy? Maybe y'all are in cuffing season, okay? And the person that you are dealing with may have a little shadowy aspects that need to come out. Maybe they are not. Okay, so whoever it is that you are connecting to, possibly. It could be someone that you need to speak your truth to or they need to speak a truth to you. They're holding a lot of weight here. Um, as far as like shadowy energy, darkness, whatever you want to call it, child. Secrets. I don't know. I'm going to clarify in a second here. All right. This is... Mm -mm -mm. I said, it's getting late outside. I said I wasn't going to talk too much about any type of sexual stuff, but I just saw something like that in this card. All right? Whoever this is um, does a lot of premature ejaculation. It could be a man or a woman. Premature ejaculation. All right? This is someone that gets really, really excited. Okay? And maybe they have, that's what they want to reveal to you, the dark side of their excitement or something. Okay? Or what have you. Or the connecting force of why they are with you because it's, you are a part of their dark side of excitement. I don't know why I decided to come on here today, but that's what it's looking like. Okay, those are very fertile people. 
So you want to be careful, especially if you are easily impregnated. All right. If you have a lot of um, juices. Okay. And for the men, the, the pre juices. Trying to be cute with the word. Bear with me. If you have a lot of pre juices, you are a very fertile person. Fucking octopus. Okay. So there's something here that has been cleared out. There's a connection that may, um, when y'all connect, that will clear out a lot of their stuff. And we talked about that a little bit about, um, if we talk, we talked about that a little bit about, you know, connecting with certain people and you clearing them out. Okay. Sometimes it works both ways. I think this may be something that you are getting into that works both ways. And I also want to say something else real quick. So. One of the keys to successful relationships or coupling, right? Because I've tried not to get too much into all of this. But one of the successful keys is always knowing what it is that y'all are growing together. That keeps the sex life extremely healthy. What are y'all growing towards? Because when you do have goals and ideas and ideals and things that y'all are working on as a couple, and y'all have y'all separate shit, but whatever it is that y'all are working on as a couple, it's it's I find it rare that um the sex decreases or the sex just that shit just wasn't what that was honey like can we figure it out because when you are connected with someone um in a healthy way there is you know no limits or no like the potential in like how y'all can experiment without going too far i can't go too far <laughs> went too far in the back in the day figure that i can't go too far okay but some of y'all can go far and um you know don't be a prude, ho. Because some of y'all are prudes. I've heard about you. I heard the stories about some of y'all prudes. Oh, no. He kissed me down there. Now he's trying to kiss me in my face. I ain't trying to kiss on her mouth. I'm trying to kiss on her face. Oh, no. Shit, if you ain't going to eat it, what they eating it for? That's like, that's the equivalent of, uh, what, what was I finna say? That's the equivalent of, um, You don't want to eat the food you cook. Bitch, you cooked it. How does that work? You cooked it. I don't want that on me, but why should he want it on him? Figure that. Why should he want it on him? I don't want that. Y'all proved to be something else. Okay? Now, I do understand how some of the girls go. Okay, that's a defense mechanism for some of the girls, but also some of the girls um, just like that. Just overall, they shy. Okay, come out, you want to come out that bubble a little bit and you go have a little fun with your man. Okay, I'm not uh, um, promoting hoeing, but I, I don't condemn nor condone hoeing. I don't see nothing wrong with hoeing. If that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. Okay, eventually you're gonna come on this side of the game. Okay, all right, let me finish. So there's a gathering of sorts. You and someone coming together. I also feel as though there is, there's a number of people that may, um, there's a number of people that you've curved. There's a number of people that you curved that are coming back around as well. But let's just start clarifying because I start talking about some is. All right. Ooh, okay. So y'all are really going places and meeting people. Some of y'all are going back to school, studying or what have you here. Uh, that looks like a lot of people in desk. So this is not virtual school. I feel like y'all are going and, uh, you know, um, in-person classrooms. That's what it looked like. Look here. Up there at the top. That's what it looked like. All right. Let's see, honey. There's something long-standing that you are working on that is really going to pay off as well. I don't see a lot of work that needs to be done. So, I, you know, I just see here where the, someone that you are connecting to may have a lot of work to be done. I don't feel like you have a lot of work in this season, okay? Because it can change. You just never know, all right? Um, you know, some people are lucky to not have to go through certain things because they um, lived a sort of monkish lifestyle where they just, you know, did the things that needed to be done on a regular basis for many years away from society. Because, <laughs> you know... That's not easy, having to deal with people and interact with people. Shout out to anyone who is online and is of a lot of light. 
remember that light attracts all types of things, okay? Protect yourself. All right. Somebody wants you to hide something from the, for them, bitch. If it's going to cost you some time, I wouldn't do it, whole. Now, that ain't my business. Somebody wants you to hide something for, for them. Turn my phone off. What is this um, inner truth? You are clear, queen of wands. All right, you are clear, confident. Uh, you may even be in a space where whatever this is that you are optimistic about, you got to speak your truth. There's a lot of love around you. There is a lot of love around you. Do you hear me? Look at all this green around this woman. You are protected by so much love and peace, okay? And it's like you are wearing your, um, your power, your, the power that you exude. Because I get that with this red and this gold. Her hair is red. But I get this with this red and this gold, right? You are allowing yourself to, um, there's some type of interconnectedness with the root chakra or just the lineage as well as your star power that goes within that. I'm telling you, stand on that shit, our signs. I feel like some of you are in a space where you've um, reached the bar and now you set the bar even higher for yourself as well here. Maybe waiting to hear from someone or waiting for some type of paperwork that is coming. They are doing finishing out the final details. Please remember that um, anytime, you know, divine timing is a real thing. Okay. We are waiting for the right timing. We are waiting. All right. You said, you said, sit down. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to cheer, shout it. Because that's the best advice that I can take. Okay. A classic. I'm going to cheer, shout it. All right. Now it's time for you to get out here and stand on your ten. Walk in your truth with this Queen of Wands energy. All right? Be ferocious, okay? Sexy or whatever this is. It's very classy as well. I really like it because this has been a classy week. I'm not going to even hold you. Bitch. I got the bitch. What? This has been a classy week. Honey. Whatever. No comment. What is this Queen of Wands doing? What does this mean for the air signs? You may have strong air sign, I mean fire sign placements and standing on that. Maybe that's the Leo her who okay. Cause I was like, I'm feeling Leo-ish today. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Cause I've been very professional this week. It's been cute. What is this Queen of Wands that about this inner truth with the earth signs, honey? The Queen of Swords. Okay, so maybe this is someone that you have to speak your truth to. Because this could be you embodying this Queen of Wands and speaking from this Queen of Swords energy. Or this could be someone that you need to speak your truth to cut out. All right? Because if you even look at this. All right, so let's look at it. I hope this ain't nobody outside of y'all, but it could be. Okay? I'm not going to try to force the narrative. It could be you. It could, And it could be another bitch. Uh, she got her head looking down, okay? But we, we do understand it. Ain't nothing on the ground but motherfucking toes, okay? So she got her head looking down. This one is looking up, but also has her spear of truth blocking this energy, right? So that may be what it is that you are using your truth to not even communicate or um, maybe you're blocking somebody, right? Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. Because it's like you may be in a space of, um, you know, this beautiful, loving energy, right, that y'all have been in for quite some time. She got on a gold dress with red sleeves. Makes sense to me. Um, maybe, okay, so let's look at it. Her sleeves are red. Her sleeves are red and gold. So there's an, okay, so the interconnectedness on this, let's, let's separate the story then. I'm trying to figure it out. So if this is somebody that you are dealing with, all right, she has gold and red in the, in the bottom of her skirt, but her sleeves are red, okay? So there's an interconnectedness with the power that this person has to make moves and do things, um, but it's also lower, uh, the lower region, the root energy. So there may be that, you know, you're not communicating with this person because they are still working out some things from their lower aspects, right? But they're confident in what it is that they are doing. It's just that, you know, whatever. So then you have this person, okay? She has red and gold on her sleeves, but her entire dress is gold, okay? That's a lot of protection energy as well, all right? This may be someone that you know, that you don't even give any attention to. Maybe you saw them in passing, met them in passing, but you don't know this bitch, okay? I don't think that you do know this whole like that. You know how people think that, oh, 
that's I didn't used to like this. I didn't used to like when people would be like, um, oh, yeah, I talked to her the other day. Like, bitch, you text me the other day. Stop saying you talked to me, ho. Um, but this may be somebody, you know, just met him past and Bad Bell tried to come out, but I canceled his ass. So when it comes to your inner truth and seeing the truth in a certain situation, uh, you don't have to. I think y'all sitting on some smug shit. Like, bitch, I see what you're doing. I know how you're moving or whatever this is because she got it on her sleeve. So that means that her work come from her, Right. From the shoulders and up, because that's how she coming. So her work comes from up here. This other person has uh, to go out and 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 do things where maybe they are in a space where they are trying to learn how to master this Queen of Wands energy, if that makes sense. Because each suit needs to be mastered before a person can even call themselves an empress. And before a person can call themselves a high priestess, they got to go through their empress rite of passage. All right? What the fuck am I talking about? Please tell me. Thank you, baby. What am I talking about, honey? Please tell me. Cause know where we at. Told your ass, seven of swords, okay? This is somebody trying to hide something, trying to... <clears throat> maybe somebody trying to communicate with you and be lying like a motherfucker, okay? Because there's two women right here. I already don't like dealing with women <clears throat> when it comes to, like, cat. This may be catty shit. Like, you know what I mean? I don't have a problem with women, but like I said, I've met some very beautiful, interesting spirits over the course of this year. And that, you know, that lets me know where I'm going with this. Whoever this is, I don't know where they going with this shit. This seven of swords is like, you may have to go ahead and speak your truth about this person or speak your truth to this person because it's some lies. All right. This seven of swords has a lot to do with somebody trying to find something to say, something to do. It's like they trying to find something to say, something to do. He reaching for a sword Um, with this hand. He dropping a sword with this hand. And he ain't got on no motherfucking shoes trying to um, creep, sneaking and creeping. Okay, some of y'all fucking with a crazy ass bitch. I don't know what to tell you. Number one, I don't see how I ain't dealt with no women like that. So the women that deal with women and y'all really be out here in relationships with women, kudos to you, ho. I don't know how y'all put up with dealing with women. The most emotional motherfuckers on the planet. How do y'all deal with it? Please tell me. I don't see how. Because this, this might be somebody that you're dealing with. They're depressed. They, um, they're very confident in who they are, but they are still depressed about something that may have happened. And there is that damn seven of soul. you very selective, Jewel. How y'all do it? I wouldn't be able to do it. I ain't got nothing against y'all, coochie nays. I wouldn't be able to do it. Not even for the, the whole, whatever, you know, you do. I did my research uh, many years ago on Pornhub. Seen some stuff. But I just don't see how y'all do that. Maybe that's what's going on. Because ain't nobody else popping out but a man with his back turned to the shit. Lying. Maybe somebody ran off with this bitch. Or, or, or got away. You start throwing stuff at them and they got away by her on the chin. They chin and chin chin. They left out no shoes. They just hopped in the ride and all days. That's a possibility. You don't know where they going or where they went. This person may be trying to call. Okay, so this is messy. This person may be trying to call you to tell you uh, something else about them. I ain't listening to them, bitch. If you know, if you, okay, cool. I see y'all messed around. I ain't got nothing else to talk to you about. Y'all be wanting a whole conversation with a conversation with the motherfucker and all that. Which one whole conversation with that, this person for? And you know they want what you what you had. Okay. What else he did? Don't care. What you trying to do? Hurt yourself some more? Can't believe he did that. You believe in somebody that laid up with this motherfucker? I'm gonna calm down, child, because this this is just dramatic. Let me see what this, what is this seven of swords and what is going on with this child? What is, tell me what you're talking about. Over a Leo, the truth came out. The truth was illuminated. Now you see things exactly. Look at this. Bitch, I see you. Somebody tried to sneak and creep, get away with something, right? Tried to sabotage something. Try, you made them drop their shit, okay? Stood on business, okay? Standing and glowing in the, and basking in the ambiance of the great one. See you, bitch. Oh, scared she got that motherfucker. All right. Let me see, child. Could be lying. Could know where we at. We on fire, I mean, um, earth sign. See how y'all be doing it. I don't. 
It's not even just that, oh, it's not right for women to lay with women and blah, 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 blah. It ain't even just that. Like, how is y'all doing it? I ain't asking no more questions. I'm going to have to look at the comments later. Thank you, Brittany. What is this going on? Ready to tap dance on this on this person. Bitch, I'll tap dance all over you. What is this sun called? The truth came out. Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The truth came out. Maybe this was some energetic interference that got swept away. Okay? Because it's a lot of work being done in this card. With this Ten of Wands, it was just too much going on. You had to get some, some of y'all put this person out your house. Or put this person out your car. This person either got put out a car or put out a house. Somebody got put out. Cleaning up. Some of y'all are cleaning house. Hold on. That's why. Maybe that's why y'all got all that strength in your arms. You're doing a lot of cleaning. Okay? And I feel like whatever it is that you've been through, you carry that. You, you built like that. Look at her face. Oh, baby. I have all the brooms. I have all the techniques. I've learned so much in this Ten of Wands. I've learned so many things. And I have all of these different resources to clean some shit up. Okay. Yeah. It's nothing. She presenting, she presenting the problem like, I mean, voila, I've been through there. <laughs> been there, done that, got about 10 brooms, mops, dustpans. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> what do you need? That's what it said. You got your balance back. This is a 20, 2020. Something may have been going on since 2020. Maybe your vision now is 2020 based on what it is that you've been through. I'm trying to figure it out because I also get here that um, you did it so cute and you did, you just, you just so, you built like that. Gentleness, ease, and grace all over this woman. This woman standing in heels holding all these damn, uh, what do you call them shit? Brooms, mops. She holding all these brooms and mops and all these things going on in heels. Okay. They say hoes run fast in heels. I, I beg to differ. I ain't never been a hoe. And I can run fast in my heels. Bitch. I love me a good heel. Okay. Some of the most comfortable heels out of all my heels are the Jessica Simpson heels. Bitch, I feel like I'm in tennis shoes. Okay. Move forward. Not here to promote nothing, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I ain't got no sponsorship with her ass. Okay. She can fuck with me. All right. What did you have here for... What is this uh, Seven of Swords and this Sun this sun card? I told you, Five of Swords in the reverse and the Five of Wands in the reverse. You standing on business. You're not arguing, fighting. You already see it before it even come through. It can't hit you. It can't touch you. Okay, okay, okay. Trying to figure it out. Can know where we at? Because y'all know I'd just be going and going. Yeah. Let me see, honey. Because, you know, whatever. All right. But now that you see it, you won't go through it again. Now that you see it and you've dusted all of this off here, some of you may need to get grounded. I went and sat up under my most favorite tree. I know them folks thought I was crazy. You know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I'm going to go sit under this tree. It is a little muddy out here, but it is my job to sit under this tree with my back up against this tree and get grounded. Indeed. In front of their children. We don't know. We, something may be wrong with her. It probably is. I need to get grounded. All right. What you got here for these beautiful people, honey? Get grounded. Uh, go ahead and clean that fire. Clean the... I was going to say that fire alarm. Clean the chimney. Something with the chimney, okay? Some of y'all have paranormal activity by your chimney. All right? Uh, it is very important that you clean and clear that chimney area. It may even be something sitting by that chimney that is causing an issue or some type of interference. Or maybe there's something that you have by that chimney that does not agree with other things that you have by that chimney. Okay, figure it out. All right. What information do you have here uh, for these air signs? What's this 20? The world. Everything came full circle. Um, there's a lot that is growing. Yep. Balance, stability, security. There's a lot of things that are growing. A lot of people may be reaching out to you. Um, there's an extension of what it is that you do that is going further, of course. I think I talked about that earlier. Um, why is it a woman facing this foot? Whoever it is that you are connecting to, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> All right, something is connected to the feet that has to do with someone who you see in your sleep, 
okay? The way that they move is the way that you're supposed to move. It may be an ascended master, an ancestor. It all connects. Huh? It depends on who you ask. But there's something about the way that you are supposed to be moving your feet. Um, this says you don't even have to use your full foot, if this makes sense. You don't have to use your full foot to make things happen. There's something about being flexible as well and adaptable, but not stretching or overreaching, right? Um, this may not be a time for the overextension or overreaching of certain aspects of what it is that you want to do. But I feel as though you're going to be able... This is like movement, like... That's that flow energy. Like everything that you do is in flow, right? In this new cycle. Okay. Somebody about to fall and ask you for help. Somebody is falling and they may need your help or they needed your help in the past, but they didn't know they let me let me tell you what I'm saying. Can I where we at? Can I go over Okay. Somebody may need your help. Whoever this person is that lied and tried to betray you when you just looked at that shit and stood on your on your team. Whoever this is, they need your help now. They'll never ask for your help. But I'm just telling you. So maybe you'll feel their energy or maybe they'll pop up in um, a dream if you ask. Like, show me what I need to see. And this person pops up and that's who the fuck you need to see. That don't mean reach out to them. That's just showing you something. Okay? This person, this may be someone who you were supposed to help. And they just, they betrayed you. You can't help them now. You know what I'm saying? Like I was telling one of my clients, it's very important. Right? It's very important that we... Um, are mindful of who we help and how we help out here in these streets. Just because you know, you know, from my heart, I'm doing a good thing, this, that, and the other. You have to discern who to help and who not to help. Really stand back and ask and then listen for divine instruction because you just can't be helping on anybody. And some people you are meant to help in order to open a door for you. So you got to figure this out. You don't want to block your shit because you can help someone who... Um, you were not, uh, you were planting the seed in, in um, unhealthy or unfertile, infertile ground. So you may, you know, cut some things off or cause a clogging of sorts in your financial plumbing. Keep your currency and keep the current. Stay up to date and current with the current of the currency. It was a little bleeped. Okay. Canoke, what you said? What Canoke say? Time's up. Okay, so inner truth. This is inner truth, y'all. Integrity, truth, and communication. The benefits it are that it brings balance to the throat and vocal cords, assists immune system, opens clear communication, supports balanced metabolism. I like it for the winter. Okay. Um, you hold your hands like this. Bring your hands into your belly center. And the affirmation is, I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion. I speak my truth clearly with integrity and compassion. All right, air signs. Air signs, if you're feeling it how I'm feeling it. All right. Drop, drop a wand in the comments. It's time for a new beginning. Okay. Some of y'all are tired of the situation that you are in and you're being broken out of it, hope. Okay. Free air signs till it's backwards, hope. Okay. All right. So drop a wand in the comment if you ready for this new beginning, this new creative energy, and ready to just stand on what you're standing on business. All right. Baby, hold on to me. All right. Nobody got time for that. I did a blog the other day about uh, bottom dwellers. So, Earth Signs is on the money with it when it comes to bottom dwellers. Child, don't get no bottom dweller your time or attention because that's what they want. They're really disgruntled fans, okay? All right, so let's mix these up and then we're going to move into the water signs. Hold your question here, mm, okay? Hold your question here, my dear, and see if your confirmation or app, something that will affirm what it is that you already have been thinking, seeing, or what have you, comes about, all right? All right, let's see here. What 
do you have here for my water signs? Please and thank you. Make sure y'all like the video. It's just a little one, too. All right. Why y'all putting the number one in there? What that mean? What do you have for the water signs? Oh, because y'all thought I said one. I mean, wand. Wand. Water signs. Barava. All right. Liberation. Ooh, I like that song, Liberation. I think it's by Outkast or somebody. It's an old song. Number 37. Three moves into a seven. Creating a 10. All right. Some of you have recently broken out of some type of conditioning or programming, being liberated from some type of um, dealings or um, being liberated from... You're being liberated from the whole. So maybe it's a group. Maybe it's a family. There's something here that is happening that you need to know that you are taken care of, okay? Your light body, the water signs light bodies are um, extremely uh, powerful at this time. So I don't know how y'all are using that energy, but you do want to be careful. When your light shines this bright, your light is shining very bright. Look at all this. Look at all this light in this card. I don't see a lot of debris or anything like that. See all this? That's some clearing energy. So some of you may be in a space where you um, are clearing. You may even have some some ascension symptoms that come with clearing as well. Um, this will be the last time that you will be getting sick. You won't get sick again. It doesn't mean that you know something that you inherited or something that you go through doesn't you know ping pong ding dong has an issue it can be handled all right just remember that but i do feel like y'all are in a space where y'all have cleared out a lot of um like maybe you did a lot of um healing of trauma work with some people when it comes to healing trauma here one two three four five six three six nine okay so whatever it is the people that you have worked with or the people that you have come across you've made such an impact on these people there's there that's and that's how it works all right, let me scoot back. That's how it works, right? So you connect with these six people, right? Discuss certain things with these six people. These six people go out and discuss things with a group of the um, other people. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, so maybe out of the six, there are five who, it's the equivalent of when you have um, clients that, you know, they keep returning and they also recommend you. It's something like that. There's something like some of you may have a, an academy, a school, something that you teach and maybe something that you went through that you express to certain people and they are going out and spreading it, spreading the word. Which means that what's bouncing off of those people and that pod that these people are connected to, it connects even more. That's your liberation. All right, you are seeing it come to fruition. Whatever it is that you've been working on, poof, it's here. Whatever that means, child. Tell me what I'm talking about. Tell me what I'm talking about for the water signs. Five of coins. You're being liberated out of whatever this is. If you've been sick, again, if you've been sick, you're being liberated. There's a change in the um, your network. There's a change in the way that your network, your net worth, your money, your finances, the way that your home is protected, how you protect that. There were some type of changes that you went through that you weathered the storm. Somebody got an autistic son or daughter. Weathered the storm. Okay. Three over there, one over there, one down there. Them three up there, okay? Maybe some people that you work with in order for you to see something clearly. If y'all have a spouse, what happened may have happened was uh, you were working on certain things. Your spouse, y'all weren't spending a lot of time because this five of pentacles could be not getting enough time or attention from uh, your significant other as well or people that you connected to in a certain type of way. However, what you found when you were not connecting, because that's why I be telling the ladies, okay? Just because your spouse can't give you a whole lot of time, but you need a hobby. You need to go do, do you something, get you some real good girlfriends and homeboys or whatever this is, do some networking. That's what this woman did. This woman went and networked and did some things, and now she's being liberated from the way that she used to think. Maybe this woman used to depend fully on her spouse, and now she does not. The spouse was over here working on something. The child, you know, doing what they do in school or what have you. This woman went and worked and networked with other people to bring something to this space. That's why there's a change in the way that things are done in that space. All right. Tell me if I'm lying or not. 
Tell me if I'm lying or not to these water signs, child. Because that five is changes, right? There may have been some type of disruption in your finances, your health, um, maybe the way that you built, child. Who even knows? You know how they go. Get to eating them baked potatoes. Whew. With that little chicken on it. Mm. And get to, get to eat right there and it, it go sit somewhere. Like, why is you sitting right there? It be sitting in some place they ain't supposed to. The older you get, I'm telling you. And it's sitting there in a weird place. Like, what the fuck is you doing? Okay, that's a possibility. With that five. But you're being liberated from this. What do you have here? That's how it works. Ping pong, ding dong. Ping pong, ding dong. Three layers of protection. I be, I be. Three layers of protection. So some of y'all, it's going to take folks, look at that, ten of wands. I was just about to say it. Some of y'all, it's going to take a lot for people to even get in because you already been through a lot of the stuff. You've already uh, managed to overcome a lot of the things that you finally come out of this space. The Ten of Wands. You've been through a lot. You witnessed a lot. You got a lot of Ashe tools in your toolbox, honey. And, um, of course, wands can be spiritual interference. So that's why I said those protective layers, right? You may have so much protective um, layers because now this is you're in a space of being a space of redemption, honey. Come up, where we at? Come up to my be right back. Mm. All right. Anybody else know how long we've been in here? She back. Texas barbecue. Is it good? All right. What do you have here for these water signs? It took me two days to eat a barbecue, uh, a baked potato the other day. I ain't putting no barbecue on it. That would have been a whole nother to do. I probably would have had a, a, a been pregnant on my back. Don't bring up nothing about no barbecue. Thank you, Brittany. Don't bring up nothing about no barbecue right now. It's disrespectful. I'm asking to be respected today. Okay. Don't bring up nothing about no barbecue. Them nice little link sandwiches and them nice little chopped beef sandwiches with some Lay's potato chips. A little baked beans right there. Eat the whole thing. Don't do that. Baked potato with ribs on it. Don't do that. It's crackers. Ooh. Disrespectful. Ooh. Chow. Somebody is stepping into something new. It's like, you know what? I'm taking everything that I've been through with me. Okay, I'm here, I'm here for it. Somebody said, I'm taking everything that I've been through with me. So this is the equivalent of knowing that the lessons that the things that you went through are going to be um um you will be able to use what you went through. So you are presenting it to us in a way. That's going to pay. Okay, that's why you're working with these other people up here. Or something. Maybe I don't know your life, honey. But it's like, yeah, bitch. I know how to walk on thin ice. Y'all figured it out. Y'all figured out how to walk on thin ice. No matter the price. Okay. What is this liberation for these water signs? What is this, uh, this liberation? Ooh. Liberated from the magician. Any type of manipulation. Got to make a decision. How you going to use this? <coughs> how you going to use this? Now that you've been liberated, how? what direction are you going? It's very important that you sit in a space where um, you are allowing yourself to receive information. This is crown activity overall. So a lot of information is coming through. And what I do want to say really quick about information coming through. Sometimes people try to... Um, uh get your information before you get it <laughs> uh or you know all of the it's so many ways of manipulation out here it's insane so i'm gonna leave it at that because it's insane the shit that people be got going on out here it's like because like you know the enemy the bad building friends don't they're not creative so how do they create they come and steal they destroy you to try to take what you got going on or what you're going to have going on. That's not how this works. That's like trying to download information. Download. You're trying to download um, the, the uh, computer system for a Tesla. 
the mechanics and the and the way that a Tesla works into a Honda. That don't work like that. I don't know why people so dumb. You know what I'm saying? It's only so much that you're going to try to get away with. It's not going to work. So it's like you are realizing how to use the tools that you have. Because something here, someone may be communicating something to you. You don't see it coming. And you have a decision to make. Like I said, there may be some type of interference. This could be a person just coming in trying to uh, tell you that your plans will fail or some shit. Like, I don't need you to tell me shit about my plans. Because I didn't even tell you all about my plans. You don't know the ins and the outs. So, bitch, shut up. Sit down. Okay? Ben Janine's hole and sit down somewhere. Okay? I need you to sit down to the point where your booty hole is touching the bottom of the churl. <laughs> and that orb just went through there. They don't usually condone me cussing, doing cuss words. <laughs> But they love me and I love them. So they know I come from a good place. Okay? They know my heart. Um, somebody has a scar. This may be a scar on their neck. This may be a scar from thyroid or something like that. Somebody got some bad Botox or something like that. All right? But you are getting your karma. You're going to feel good real soon. You're getting a lot of your karma. This is good karma. Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Bitch, you got something coming in that um, you've been um, awaiting, but you've been just controlling yourself here because there's a lot of progress here. Heartbreak, you're going to have to get over. What is it that you're going to sacrifice? You're going to sacrifice trying to do the right things for the wrong motherfuckers is what you're going to sacrifice. I'm trying to figure it out. How much time do you have? How much, how much do you have to offer to those who don't want the seed to be planted? They don't want the seed to be watered. They don't deserve to be around you. Some of y'all went through. Because if you're being liberated, that means that you've been pulled out of situations and connections that no longer served you in T-Way. But whoever this is can't wait to say something. They can't wait to break the news. They can't wait to say what it is, where you got your shoes. Bitch, DSW. God damn. Motherfucker be ready to tell your business quicker than you can even get it out your mouth. You ain't process your business quick enough to get it out. Whoever this is has got to say something. Look at this. The, hey, the Knight of Swords. Maybe you need to think before you speak, right? Think before you communicate. With whoever or whatever it is that you want to communicate, or you you thinking finding a better way to communicate what it is that you want to manifest. That's cute. Okay. I don't know. That was the Ace of Cups. My bad. Ace. One cup. One cup, Miss Teresa. One cup. Two girls. One cup. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace. Thank you, Brittany. Ace. Okay. Ace of Cups. Sorry if it sounds like Eight of Cups. I'm country. Okay. I own my countryness. Okay. How much time we got left? Because I don't want to go too far over because I am good for it. All right. What do you have here for the water signs, please? And thank you, honey. Uh oh. Baby, sitting back thinking about what you're going to do when they come for you, bad boys. All right. Somebody just take a time out to take a breather. All right. This may be a process of rebirth or when you are in that space of now you are realizing where it is that you are going, but also um, not fully celebrating. You just enjoying the moment um, until you are told to come out. You know, you're, you are um, well versed in what it is that you are coming out with, coming out to or what have you. Maybe somebody coming out. Okay. I'm coming out. I want the world to know that let it show. Okay. Page of Cups. Somebody can't believe that you are. Um, somebody can't believe that you are who you are. They can't believe that they didn't see you how they should have saw you at first, right? With this Page of Cups. Because with this Page of Cups, this could be somebody being haunted. Maybe they haunted by the memories of you when they sleep. They just be thinking about you, smelling you, feeling you. You just all over them, okay? It's your freak ass, okay? I ain't into that astral freaky shit. It's disrespectful. We already got aliens disrespecting us. Breakthrough, towel, all right? This is something new to you, and that's what they're saying. Like, as everything crumbles, let it crumble, okay? So that you will be able to salvage what needs to be salvaged to rebuild. Um, anything that you don't need, anyone that you don't need. Somebody is looking over some paperwork, I feel. Um, there's also, uh, what is that? What do you put on her? Uh, don't take no, don't pop nothing from nobody. 
I'm just telling you right now. Somebody may be offering you, um, okay. Don't take nothing from nobody at this time. I don't care how much you trust them. Shit, because they be, some people be trusting their dealer too much. You can't put your life in your dealer hand. What the fuck is you doing? Check out what's going on. That's why I, if you got Facebook, you're supposed to be connected to everything that's hood on Facebook. So you'll know if a bad supply came through or who not to be fucking with or who has something that was the plug. Okay, the plug or whatever. I don't, I'm not into those activities um, at all. Okay. But in a past life, it used to go down. I'm just trying to figure it out. So whoever this is, don't take nothing. Like, it's a lot that is going on around you. And you really need to have certain types of boundaries so that you'll be able to balance yourself out and not make decisions based on your emotions. Hey, lovely bird's nest. Okay. How much time we got? Where did Kanoka ass go? Where do you, what is this tower? This is a breakthrough. This is something huge that, is ha that has to happen, okay? It is a very important part of our process because if, if, if something doesn't come through to break up the cycle, if something doesn't come through and stump out the bullshit, because that's what towers do. Towers come in and stump out the bullshit, all right? Um, it's not what you're viewing. It's how you view it. So what is the mindset that Four Swords said? What is the mindset? You heard? Okay, I didn't even see you. All right. Somebody looking at it, though. And many of you already perceived, got the information, right? Because you tapped in. You already got the information that the tower is about to hit. And you're just looking at it like, I'll be damned. That's some fuck shit, right? Just looking at how this has uh, gone on and what it is that brought it in. Mm -mm -mm. It's late. So here's the thing. Water signs, some of the people around you, I need you to start making more eye contact with your people. If you are doing face-to-face -face consultations, whatever it is that you are doing, you need to make eye contact with people because you know they say that the eyes are the window to the soul and the eyes tell you this, that, and the other. I feel like y'all are about to see something that y'all ain't never seen before from some eyes of people that you've been knowing a long time. These eyes are changing. <sighs> Lasers. Mm. I ain't never seen that right there where uh, the light, you can see light coming from out of somebody's eyes. And I hope that I, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready to see that, like actually in my face like that. I've seen a lot, but that'll be something different for me. And y'all know I'm going to be running back <laughs> once I figure it out and talk about it. But these are lasers coming from somebody's eyes. The thing about, okay. Somebody has lasers coming from their eyes. Okay, so they pyromaniac eyes, but I don't know if they're going to show you that when they do it. But you are definitely going to see what looks like a stream of light coming from their eyes going to whatever it is that they are looking at. And then you see a distortion. Like if they're looking at the TV and you see a, a light beam going from their eyes to the TV and the TV begins to shift or um, pixelate. But I really think that who somebody has pyromaniac eyes. Now, I know that I can... You know, I'm a, a fire charmer. I could charm some fire. But whoever this is, they just set shit on fire with their eyes. I don't know if I want that power. I don't know if I'm ready to see that. But apparently, I'm, you know, you just never know. Okay. All right. Let's get back to just, it's just a read. It's a simple little read, champ. The gifts that the folks in this house have and the ones that they come up with, the types of people that they come across. I find it so interesting. I wish that we could still have a safe space where we could discuss, okay? Oh, excuse me, because in this day and age, okay, I'm trying to figure it out. Hell yeah, really, Phoenix. You think it's funny, games? You, 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 think it's just, you think it's just for the show? No. Somebody gonna be in the comments and tell you. Come back in a couple of days. Somebody in the comments gonna tell you. All right, or they gonna inbox me. It's gonna be something. They always come through. All the years I've been doing this, they always, somebody, some, not always, but somebody will come through, okay? Y'all be thinking it's a game, it's some wild ass shit. The other mujeries I did, I, I said somebody touching insects and bringing them back to life and touching animals and healing animals. And I and, and she dropped it in there and I posted it on uh, Instagram. 
She said, I do that. See, y'all be thinking shit for a fish. That's what be pissing me off about people who, uh, nah, for real. You know, I have no problem. I promise you I don't. I have no problem with people who don't understand. What can I say? Who she talking to? I can't see it. Need my glasses. I have no problem with people who uh, come over here or don't come over here. Well, the people who come over here and they don't really understand that we go, we, we can go far and it may sound like some crazy shit, but, and then people come and clarify and verify, that's a whole other level of the game. You see what I mean? Then you have people, they don't, they're not coming over here because they need to stay over there where they at anyway. We're not trying to invite everybody over here. Okay? Usually when people trying to get everybody, it's a money grab. It's an attention-seeking grab or some shit like that. I already know everybody not meant to come over here and, and, and witness some of the stuff that be going on. Just imagine. You know what I mean? This is a space where a lot of the people that are outcast or would be outcast if people knew what they really had going on. This is where they come. They come to chill for a minute and go on about their business. It's some wild shit that people go through. It's some wild shit that people see. And if I didn't go through or see shit, I'd be like, I'd probably be like some of the, like Phoenix saying, really, Lulu? Really? I'd probably be the same way. Hell no, that's that old TV ass shit. No, the Bible said. I'd be that person. The Bible said. My pastor said that the witches and the warlocks would be out here. I'd be calling, I'd be calling myself something that ain't right. I'll be calling myself something. <laughs> Y'all be stressing me out. This assists with unity, freedom, and liberation. The benefits are assist all the systems of the body, supports inner stillness and courage, and releases fears. I'm really liking it. All right. You're going to hold your hands like this and don't twist your wrist. All right. Relax the shoulders back and down and then in your spine. All right. This, oh, this is on your lap. Put this on your lap. All right. And the focus is I honor the innate union of consciousness and bliss. I honor the innate union of consciousness and bliss. Water signs, if you have made it this far. All right. Drop something that makes you happy in the comments. OK, something that reminds you of bliss. What is it that you are affirming? What is it that you are claiming? Drop it. OK, how your daddy uh, drop his draws when I say, baby, this is for you. Not all. <laughs> yeah. Miss Teresa. OK. All right, so we are on the fire signs. All right, let's take an intermission because we got time. Randall, do I need to block your ass? Because where'd that come from? Do I need to block that person? Is that their first comment on her? Because don't come over here playing. Do I need to block that person? Are they answering what I said about what brings you bliss? That don't bring them bliss. Do I need to block that person? Don't call her playing my people, man. Nah, for real. Nah, they, they ignorant. Get their ass up out of her. Tell me about whatever. Our signs just happened, Miss Latoya. I don't understand it. I told y'all when that light go off. Anytime your light go off, you're going to track everything. And it's okay. They can go uh, play with their friends. Go play with your friends, honey. All right, so now we have the fire signs. Hold your question here, my dear. Mm. 
Make sure that y'all like the video, please. And thank you. I would really appreciate it. It's the least you can do for a free one, too. Ooh, okay. What do you have here for my beautiful fire signs? Ooh, sacral energy. Ooh, you're welcome, Miss Carissa. The opening. Oh, that's so sweet. Fire signs falling in love. They opening their heart to love. Powerful love. It's a one moving into a seven, creating an eight. So fire signs may be in a space of realizing what it means to be single, right? Even if they're in a relationship, they may be figuring out their individuality at this time and putting an end to... Didn't y'all just have some similar... Somebody want to be a player no more? But uh, the seven has to do with endings, right? That one is new beginnings or the creative force that um, spark that um, begins um, all things, right? So it's like there's some type of spark in um, how you are communicating what needs to end, how it will end, and what is it you're going to do to end things. It's a lot of love in this card. Some of you, your sensuality or your sacral chakra is popping to the point where you will get pregnant somebody spit on you. Okay? That's what they used to call it back in the day. That child get pregnant, somebody spit on them. You barely, don't let her go to the store by herself. She'll probably come back pregnant. Okay, that's when you real fertile and they get to talking to you like that. All right, so eat orange, wear orange, drink orange, listen to orange here. But I do feel as though there's something... Um, This may be a friendship. This may be a friendship. Somebody very close to you that is connecting with you. This may be a friendship because there is a heart here. Y'all see it? There is a heart there, my dear. All right. Maybe you dealt with someone for four years, four months, four weeks, and now you are um, moving more into a space of compassion, possibly, here. You don't have a lot to clear. There may be some residual energy from the mountain you just climbed, okay? Just a little bit, a little one, two. But it's being cleared out by your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is clearing out, clearing itself, if that makes sense. Um, which, yeah, it does make sense because of what it connects to, right? We have a self-cleaning system in our bodies. Yeah, yeah. One organ over the other and moves into this one and that one. All of them clean some kind of way. The kidney, okay? The uterus, the womb, okay? Let me see, honey. Oh, I saw I bent over. <laughs> Let me see. What do you have here for these water signs? Okay, there's something that is... Okay, someone that you were connected to in the past may want to come back and um, ask for your forgiveness. There's some unfinished business with somebody else uh, that you dealt with maybe two years ago, two months, two, it's a two. So, okay, in the 2000s, the nine nines into the 2000s, okay. But this, oh, this is the Yoni Mudra. I just looked down to the, at the bottom. <laughs> Make sure that you look at the bottom, okay? Self-examination is very important. Don't be scared of it, it's yours, okay? All right, so yeah, closing a chapter on some old love. Maybe this person gave you a teddy bear, or a kitten, a cat, or a dog. There is an animal showing up in this love. Somebody may be connecting. Your spirit animals are the same ones. The, the animal that they, okay, maybe they have a tattoo of a certain animal, or they tell you what they're certain, they're, the, what animal that they think they are, they connect to, or whatever this is, fire signs. And it's like, that's their spirit animal. It's something like that. One person, the, there's an animal that connects y'all. Maybe it's an actual fur baby that connects y'all. But I feel like there's some animal that brings you and this person together. Man, I saw a Komodo dragon. I don't know if it's in Indonesia or where. I was on a real Tarzan page. He be having some wild stuff on there and I came across it. That Komodo dragon, Komodo, Komodo, Komodo. Ate something and, and and threw it up. And they were like, them things will eat anything. What kind of trick shit is that? Talking about them, them people in the comments talking about, because I ain't never seen no Komodo, dra Komodo dragon that be. And I did not know that they were scavengers. I did not know that they were like goats. They'll eat any damn thing, anybody. 
They eat, they'll eat a, another one of them. What you doing? And they talking about he, 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 he released that. Going around here eating everything. And that's the, okay, let's talk about it. Let's say bad building friends in a Komodo, a dragon type motherfucker towards you, right? And they come up against you and do something to you, but they have to um, release everything that they've done to you. It upset their stomach. That's what go. That's when it goes into you don't know who protecting the person and you just stay the fucking with them. So we don't know why he threw that up right there like that. But he had to go on to get it out. It came out. It was going to come out the root of the two of them. It came out the root of them. Okay. Why y'all messages retracted? Komodo, Komono, whatever his name is. He was big. And, they, and everybody in the comments to me, they'll eat any damn thing. Number one, I want one from my backyard. <laughs> whatever. Shit. That's some gangster shit to have in your yard. Bitch, don't come over here fucking with me. I got a Komodo dragon. One of them wild, them crazy-ass dogs that the police be having. Y'all be thinking they German Shepherds. I want one of them and a Komodo dragon. The dog gonna handle you, and the Komodo gonna eat you. Cause stop coming over and playing. I don't feel like it, and I don't like cleaning up uh, stuff that people leave out in the yard. You ain't got no business in the yard. If you can make it past the 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 dog that the, the canine unit used, the ones that look like German Shepherds, them some wild motherfuckers. They intelligent as hell. You can make it past that dog and the Komodo dragon. Then I'm just saying. The fuck. Tell my she want a pig for him. Don't be acting like, what's that man name on uh, Hannibal Lethal? All right, let me finish the read because y'all is disrespectful going up and through there. That's what they call Malinois. Them dolls smart as all that those, okay? All right, the flower of life is between you and another person. So this may be a friendship or someone that you are very close to that y'all share something, something about a baby bill. A baby bib where a baby live, okay? Let me see, honey. I could be telling um fibs. What do you have here for these beautiful people? The Wheel of Fortune. The gates are opening up. This is fate. This is destiny. This is bound to happen. All right? Just like any other card, it's bound to happen. All right? This is a major event happening in your life. This is the connection. Uh, there's a lot of celebrations, so you may be invited to a lot of celebrations, maybe um, invited, you know, uh, to different types of environments and people. And I feel like you are really called, you called in these experiences, so they are happening. That goes with fate and destiny, too. This is something that you called in to happen, and part of what it is that you were called in has a lot to do with what your soul came here to witness and experience, all right? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's about it. Uh, the person that you are connecting to may be one between the two of you. One of y'all are like five, four, five, six. The other person may be about five, ten. That's how that's that's the height I'm getting from these wrists. All white wrists. Just hit a lit for 50 brick bricks. Something is happening out of nowhere. She tiptoeing in. Destiny is tiptoeing in. And maybe it has to because you know everything can't be revealed. I don't know how you come in or how you feel. But the enemy comes to steal. So destiny can't just, you know, voila in front of everybody. What is this opening? Somebody may be dilating tomorrow out of nowhere. Two of Pentacles. It's up in the earth. All right? No going back and forth with yourself. No self-sabotage. Seven of Swords. Because what I'm seeing here is that you may have a lot on your on your plate. And someone here, maybe it's a friend, a co-worker, whoever this is. Someone that you are happy to have around. You've been knowing them for a long time, I think. Okay? Um, it may even be that, you know, your um, ability to close chapters has become easier, right? It's more efficient. The way that you close chapters, the way that you move away from things, the way that you connect with people. Something, okay, so you may see something. I don't know if this is crop circles or something in the garden or something in your yard is going to be a part of your synchronicities. It's like... You see it in a daydream, have a vision of something, and then you go outside to prune some of your plants or your flowers or whatever that is, and you see the symbolism in your yard. Or maybe you have certain symbol, certain signs and symbols and sigils in your yard, and it's time for some different ones that they are showing you. 
in this new leg of your journey? Let me see. Why you, hey, Sky, why did you, why you retract your message? Why y'all keep doing it? Why y'all keep pulling y'all message by? All right, let me see here. Um, when it comes to your priorities or whatever, whatever it is that you um, have on your plate, something was added to your plate, and it's time to really create some type of strategy, you have to have some type of structure or strategy in order for you to keep your balance, right? But I also get here that um, maybe you are tired of something, something is crippling, something is, because his hand and his foot is bent up, okay? So that has a lot to do with uh, your ability to make things happen and, and not be um, uncomfortable, right? Because if your hand's bent up, if your hand bends and your foot bends, right, you'll spend more time trying to figure out what the problem is than um, you'll figure Spending a lot of time on why you don't like something, why you have to do something, why why is it a problem instead of spending time on the solution, right? Because anytime someone comes into a space where um, it's affecting them, affecting them in this type of way, it's maybe arthritis in the hands or what have you, here um, something debilitating, right? That wasn't dealt with in the manner in which it should have been um, early on. You want to sit with this and, and, and find the answers and take action on the answers that are given to you from the highest source. Did my frequency just change? That was interesting. I started hearing myself from a different um, vibration. All right. What do you have here for this two of pentacles? I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. There it is. The magician. All right. Maybe you're connecting with a king of cups, seven of wands. Maybe you blocked this motherfucker. All right. Or you are feeling blocked from this person. Yeah, you blocked them and went on with your life because you couldn't handle it. Y'all had a little argument. Let me see. Had a little argument. Now this person is coming back on bended knee, but it's like, no, it was too much time that has passed. A lot of communication coming in, someone very bold and brave, someone that has, um, that wants to go on a new um, journey with you. However, there is someone else back here with bad built-in friends that's trying to cause confusion. Okay. So you know where you stand with this King of Cups, all right? King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. You know where you stand with this King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, whoever this is, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be um, those pe people don't have to necessarily be in those realms, but they may have a lot of water and um, earth placements. The way that they handle business may be very much like an earth sign. The way that they are sensitive to you and your needs may be very much like a water sign. Now then, with this King of Pentacles that came up here on this new leg of your journey, you also have a Leo, Capricorn, any earth sign, any water sign, whatever you want, however you come in. So what I'm getting with bad building friends, it's like bad builders trying to devise some type of plan. You may receive some type of message or some type of communication from someone, whether you know them or not, that is trying to put you in your feelings. I'm telling you right now, the more that you master and regulate your feelings, your emotions, the way that you handle big pressure, little pressure, any pressure, I'm trying to figure it out. The more that you recognize defeat and prevent yourself from going into this five of cups energy, the better. Your emotions are a very valuable resource that you use for a number of things. Okay? If you ain't got to, if you don't know what to do with your emotions, just love up on me with your emotions then. Because I'm trying to figure out you don't know what to do with them. Shit. Got the magician right there. Manifest. Ten of swords. All right. So someone who tried to manipulate you or tried to get you in your feelings, tried to, I don't know if they wrote something to the courts or they wrote something, they did some kind of, it was something with some paperwork. It was something with some writing. It could be some shit that's going on. Y'all know how bad bill is coming. It's all types of ways that bad bill can be trying to play. But 
They tried to get you to bottom out, get in your feelings and bottom out, not think straight. You know what I'm saying? Get caught up in the dramatics of life and situations. Bitch, why would you do that? <laughs> okay? More than likely, whatever it is that you are going through, you are growing through. All right? And whatever bad building friends, like bad builders really over here doing some type of research at the moonlight. Maybe they moonlighting as a researcher. Probably ain't even got that. Okay? You know you got to do background checks on motherfuckers. Okay? So... This person is devising some type of plan. Whoever this is. Somebody may be devising a plan. So what? Let me see what's going on. I'm going to end it. What is this going on? What do you have here to clear up with bad bill over here? Um, it may be an actual Capricorn because the King of Coins and the Devil came out, okay? Look at bad bill swole ankle legs. His ankle swole. Let me see what bad bill won't you. How his hooves baffles like that? He just built bad. Ten of wands. Big pressure. He trying to be big pressure. Whoever this is, this this uh, king of coins and this devil card, this shit is over with this person and they don't get it. Like, this is like, um, yeah, somebody want their way. They want their way by any type of means. Yeah, they want their way by any type of means. There it is again. Look at this shit. You ended a cycle, so you are actually out of that. So this is all about love. Stay in your love energy as often and as much as possible. I don't know what to tell you because it does feel good, okay? Yeah, Some of you have the sun in your left hand, all right? That is somebody moonlighting. Somebody is moonlighting. Now, why would a man have on a garter belt? A man with a garter belt. Big, big pressure. And you got to think about these. This, at this person's house, they, the way that they landscape their uh, yard, they landscape their yard funny. In this person's yard, whoever this person is that y'all cut off or not dealing with or that's trying to get you in your feelings and get in your mind and make you, you know, just trip, trick you off your square. In their yard, they, I don't think they got a professional landscape, but that's first and foremost. Because the way that I'm seeing it is that I ain't nothing believe, there's only, like even the bush, you know those uh, bushes that, the bushes that people have in their front yard, I forget what you call them, but it's the bushes in the front yard that, um, you know, they don't get a lot of weeds or nothing like that. You can just trim them real good. They just be a real cute one, too, in a yard, right? It's the, those bushes that most houses have. So this person's trees, that's how you know something ain't right about them, okay? When you pull up to their house, the trees in the front yard are trimmed at the bottom. It's kind of, why do, why do I see it like that? Um... They only have, it's like this, like this is the bush. It's supposed to be all all out bushy, but it's not. It's like they're trying to make their bushes look like little trees or something. Ain't nothing wrong with being creative, but this some wild shit I'm seeing. So that may be something. Because this is the type of person that won't even put sprinklers on the bushes. They'll just be trying to put, that don't even make sense. That irrigation, uh, irrigation, ir irrigation, I think that's what it's called. They water sprinkling system. Ain't even hitting what it's supposed to, and they're not paying attention. But this is a king of pentacles, okay? If that makes sense. They so busy trying to, um, they, they so burdened and have so much that they need to work out and work through and trying to be a burden to other people that they can't even see what it is they need to be doing over there where they the fuck they at, okay? Figure it out, bad bill. Okay, let me see. Come on, where we at? All right, let me see here. What do you have here? For my beautiful fire signs. Six of cups. This is karmic uh, connection. All right. I don't want to call it one thing over the other. This is just a friendship or um, a connection that you will learn and gain. Okay. Thank you, Kanoa. You will learn and gain a lot of information from whoever this is. It's six of cups, right? Um, there's a number of memories that you may share with this person, known and unknown. The unknown memories that you may share with this person comes in the telepathic connection that you have, and then you begin to see and experience certain things. The more that you are around this person, be careful. All right? Um, 
This is someone that you've been talking to for quite some time. They both got on blue outfits. I really like to see it. So this is someone that you've been talking to for quite some time. All right. Back to the bullshit. You and this person may have experienced some out of, out of the ordinary things. And that's also what connects y'all, which I've told y'all before. It's rare that people that come to this channel have not... It's rare that y'all don't experience supernatural stuff with somebody else. Even if it's just a little one too, right? They just wake up and be like, I had this dream. And they trust their dreams and they tell you that, but they don't know how deep in the game you are over here. Okay? But this is why I say that. See them? And looking out at this, right? Experiencing something miraculous together. And taking pieces of that to plant in the future. So it's something like that. I'm not trying to make it Romeo and Juliet. You know what I mean? But the clarity that comes through from you connecting with this person and also that past person. So I don't know which person this will be. It looks like water signs got, a, I mean, fire signs got a lot going on. All right. Maybe you're dealing with a, a water sign or somebody connected to your mother or um, remind you of the mother's side, the matriarch side. So there's clarity coming through where you feel limited, where you feel um, there is no potential. Something doesn't have potential, some type of pattern that you need to break. Is the information that you need is coming through. OK, how do you do? All right. Ace of Swords, three of one. Yeah, you've been waiting for this information, this clarity to come through so that you can really move in a way that you need to for swords. All right. There's clarity that comes in the, um, the your consciousness. Okay, so you need to know, number one, your crown is protected, okay? The information that's coming to you is going to come to you in a different type of way. So you need to be open to that. It's not going to come in the way that it used to here. I also feel that you are being protected. They are putting you in a space of solitude here while there's a war going on outside. Ten of Swords with the High Priestess, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because there may be somebody that's a little bit, just a tad bit delusional. It's not a big crime. But the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is here. And there's some options between these two people, right? And what I'm seeing here is that the Empress and the High Priestess, which the High Priestess is the Empress, unveiled. And what I'm seeing here with this is that something is coming. You are mirroring something. Something is a reflection of what it is that you need to see. And how you see it will be up to you. Everybody will have different experiences. All right? Uh, somebody may have an option. One of the, 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 the main thing about the options that this person has, that's why I tell y'all, y'all can't just go by how somebody X look or how somebody that, um, how you think somebody, the type of people that you think people attract and all that shit. Y'all don't go by that. Um, cause whoever this is, they have a thing for older people, but they also have a thing for people their age or younger. So they really ain't discriminating. It's the, their um scale of who they will date or what have you because it's a king of cups a king of cups connects differently than um the fire signs or the air signs i mean the the king of swords the king of pentacles the king of the other kings the king of cups um sees things differently he's very intuitive he's very nurturing he does embody the masculine and the feminine energy within the sign this is what i'm picking up today whoever this person is so the thing about this is uh, this person has a range. Their range is different than what, what it is you may expect or what have you. And you don't know exactly what they are feeling or when they are feeling it because they um, have their emotional intelligence is balanced. They are very balanced as a king of cups. Now, any other time, if, if some other kind of cards would have came out or if I would have picked up some other information intuitively, I would have said that this motherfucker playing games, okay? Playing on your top, but they not. All right. Not from what I see. Okay, this is not a personal read. All right. What do you have here for the water signs with this six of cups? What do you have here with these water signs? Boop, 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 boop. What is this? Ah, no, I want it. No, I want it. No, I want it. Some type of argument. Maybe this is splitting assets or something or arguments coming in about Maybe it's that person that you need to clear some things up with. They didn't know that you ain't fucking with them like that. So that's why you got to go and hang up your, your uh, shoes, your whole shoes or your whole hat. You know what I mean? Where you going to lay your hat down at? Do you, have you, do you got a plan? Do you know what you want? You know what I mean? This is starting something. Said so you want to be starting something. You got to be starting something. Said so you want to be starting something. Something feel real heavy, baby. And we all on fire signs. I said water. 
Because of them king of cups in the water. And the king of cups and the queen of cups. Go on. Who is this? Queen. Queen. It is dealing with water signs. What, Cano? Hold on now, Cano. One more card. What is this tower that's coming in? The Knight of Coins. Someone that was slow moving, okay? Somebody took their time and now they are like... Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Someone took their time and was watching paint dry, basically. Uh, kept trying to investigate what it is that they want, how they want to do things, which direction they want to go. They overthought the process, okay? The tower came in to show them what's going on. This is like God showing you who is God. So whatever this is and whoever this connects to, this is going to be a big to-do. You may be minding your own business and stuff happens, right? This is happening out of nowhere, but I feel like it's with one of these people. So I don't know which person it is. Try not to treat people the way that you... I think you're going to be the towel, bitch. Like, no, you need to calm down. Fire signs. Thank you. All right, but fire signs may be dealing with water signs. All right? <clears throat> All right. Um, this assists with inner cycles, fluidity, and feminine awakening. It supports your reproductive and urinary health, eases menstrual, PMS, and menopausal sy symptoms, directs breath to sacrum, a lower back, and a pelvis, all right? You're going to hold your hand like this, okay? Rest the hands, thumbs facing upward in front of your pelvis. The affirmation is, I open to the divine feminine within me, whether you're a man or a woman. Okay, trying to figure it out. I open to the divine feminine within me. I open to the divine feminine within me all right fire signs you can drop a peach a strawberry any type of fruit <laughs> in the comments any type of fruit all right we got one more before we go and then i'll see y'all next week the indie reads are on patreon do any reads weekly on patreon all right Earth signs are the last ones. Okay. You're welcome, Miss Carissa. Oh, I got some grapes. Y'all throwing all of that fruit up there. All right. Earth signs. Signs. What do you have for my signs? Cause I'm trying to figure it out. Said I'm trying to figure it out. I said I'm trying to figure it out. What information do you have for these earth signs? You brighten my life. Yeah. Earth signs. You make me feel alright. Earth signs. You bring my darkness to light. And you brighten up the colors of my eye. Colors of my life. Ha. Last but not least, hey, Earth signs. Oh, which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? Which way do you go, George? Which way do we go? Which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? Earth signs getting their hands dirty. It's oh, it's number twenty three. It says self trust. I really like it because whatever it is that you are about to, um, whatever it is that you are experiencing is going to bring on one extra little one, two experience that is coming up briefly, uh, here in the near future, maybe the next two to three weeks. Okay. And it's like, uh, do you really trust yourself? Do you trust yourself with yourself? Earth signs. Do you trust, uh, the way that things are connecting and the way that things are going? Do you really, really trust with the information that you are getting? Are you really connected to your heart? Space. Are you really in a, um, uh, yeah, that's what it said. I don't know what it got to do with waffles. I have no idea what it, it has to do with waffles. All right. All right. 
Let me see here. Shout out to them trash can motherfuckers that had me go look up blue waffles. On Instagram, I think last year. That's when I was getting trolled hard. Okay, I'm getting trolled hard. Motherfucker said, go look up blue waffles. You, are you talking about blue waffles? I'm like, ooh, that sound good. That's why I don't be looking at them comments like that no more. Because people are trolling me so hard. And that is so disrespectful. The fuck is a blue waffle? Hey, baby. All right. So something is connecting here for the earth signs. Um, knitting, sewing, um, a drum, a hand drum or a tambourine has something to do with this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know what? Okay, so whoever this is is trying to pull you back into the past, pull you back into a space that you've outgrown. It has a lot to do with uh, the way that you communicate with them because this is like, they you don't have nothing of theirs. They don't have nothing of yours. There's no connection. The connection is in the crown with this person that's trying to pull you back. They're trying to pull you back into a space that you've already outgrown and you are connecting dots and trusting yourself more. Maybe you are more independent now. And this may be new to you in this level of the game here with this self-trust. Something about being, um, you know, living a, a perpendicular lifestyle. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Thanks for the words. All right. No one go look it up tonight. What the hell is a perpendicular lifestyle? All right. One, two, three. So in uh, if you have two to three beds of flowers, two to three, two to three planted is plants, flowers, whatever this is. Um, one, okay. <laughs> so there's fairies. There's fairies in this flower bed. Since you have planted that flower bed, how your life been looking? Pay attention. All right. There's fairies in the flower bed. Since you planted this, these plants or moved in this space and they got these flowers out here, you got to figure out like what's going on. It's fairies in the flower bed. Good ones or bad ones, I don't know. But it may have something to do with the way that you grow and how you have more compassion with yourself and really trusting in yourself. And like certain things are happening to have you to trust. Like your sinks have tripped out. Your sinks are different. Some of you are seeing pink and blue orbs or pink and blue strips of light, okay? I got kind of assertive, didn't I? Child, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, 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 baby. Tied it up, tied it up, tied it up, tying it up, tying it up. Earth signs are tying things up. Tying up loose ends, connecting and clearing, all right? Not absorbing. Y'all are not absorbing a lot. Y'all are really clearing things out and, and um, okay. Um, just because you have an attic and you don't actually go in the attic and do certain stuff in the attic, you still need to clear that space. In that attic, because that is the crown chakra of your home. Now, I did do a sacred, um, stagnant home to sacred, uh, stagnant house to sacred home. Huge to do. All right. So that was one of the things we talked about, the chakras in the home. Your crown chakra of your home needs to be cleared out. There's something about um, putting some type of, um, it doesn't have to be protection, but it's like if you go up there and clean it the way that you need to and what they do, what they tell you to do, because you do got some stuff going on up there that they don't come downstairs. They don't go all throughout the house. They only upstairs. They only up in this attic or this upstairs area in this house. Uh, there's a window that looks like a church window, a mosaic window or a window that has... It's not like the, the little squares in the window, you know. Okay, I like a good square. But it's like the, um, there's a crossing, right, um, in the, this window. It may be one of those arched windows that people usually have way up there at the top. Um, if, you're, if you have vaulted seal, ceilings and there's a, because something is right there. Now, this may be, um, now what I'm seeing is a vaulted ceiling. You know, the guy be having them little windows way up there. And they're like, who is cleaning it? Bitch, who cleaning it? What kind of ladder you got to get up there and clean that? Because you finna find one now, ain't you? Okay, it's almost time for me to go because my phone about to go. Hold on.
Can you hear me now? All right. So there's something up there. So you just have to clear it out. Okay. It's a protection, but I feel like that's the only, it just hovers right there. It just, it just hovers. All right. Circle across. What you said, Shandala? It's the, you know, the, the uh, windows is like these. <laughs> Bear with me. The windows, you know what I mean? The windows like this. The little windows. I don't even know if you were talking to me. Lovely birds that said dormer windows. All right. Now let's start clarifying because I just was talking with it, didn't it? Four of Pentacles, protection. Keeping things to yourself, being very guarded, right? Um, some of the things that you may have wanted to delegate, you won't be able to. There are certain things that you need to keep to yourself, keep your peace. Uh, protecting your property, your well-being here with that self-trust, trusting your instinct more with around certain people and situations, right? This could be job, this could be anything. But uh, somebody, <laughs> why this look like, yeah, like a half circle, Shandella. Yeah, I think she said it's a dormer, dormer window. All right, check this out, okay? She protecting her little one-twos. Okay, not breastfeeding these grown men. Now we didn't breastfeed your dad. I'm trying to figure it out. Where you at? Chandelier. Oh, that's your name? I said Chandela. <laughs> All right, I appreciate you. All right. Okay, so trust yourself when it comes to you stepping out. Okay, uh, be on guard when you are stepping out. What it is that you are doing? Some of you may need to beef up the security around your environment as well. It's something about stepping out. Maybe you've been having to watch your back or um, being very um, suspicious about your neighbors or what have you. Here, it's something like that. If you are being gang stalked in that type of way, it's psychological warfare. Don't fall for it. That's why it's important to get in tune with what you got going on and how you got it going on. So anytime some weird shit go on or somebody gang stop, because look at her. Bitch, I don't know. Like, maybe you are fearful. Maybe the, um, you you um, are invited somewhere and you are fearful or have all your, you feel some type of way, right? You feel some type of way about where you are invited to or this space that you go in, Right? Probably going to be like me that time I went to the swingers club. I went to the swingers club to see what was going on. I'm like, I ain't never been there. I was excited to go. You know, people don't be inviting me to stuff like that. <laughs> Y'all know I'm different. So, go to the uh, swingers club and a, a bitch ended up getting her head busted open because she was she tried to miss somebody, woman back there. I found it interesting. So, maybe that's the type of situation like, I don't know about this. And I wasn't even dressed right. They wasn't going to let me in there. They're like, you ain't showing no skin. Bitch, I'm just trying to go up in here and see what's good. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I do things for research purposes. Let me in, coach. Okay. Maybe it's something like that. They inviting you somewhere. You got to really trust yourself to do the right thing. Um, if you are a stripper, okay, it is. A, it, yes, it is lovely bird's nest. It's very interesting. I ain't never experienced nothing like that. And I heard stories, but you know, you when you go in there, you got to act like, yeah, I'm a part of this. I'm down. Just like when the time me and my homegirl back in the gap, go to them, uh, go to the gay club, okay, and we both in there like we go together, scare assholes, okay, just scary, trying to figure it out. Research purposes, we wasn't doing nothing, but we had to figure it out because that one girl, I don't know what she was doing, standing right there, talking about you sexy, and suck the straw some kind of way. My homegirl talking about we together, yes we are. Thank you for the good save. Okay. Trying to figure it out. All right. I don't care about what y'all say. Oh, you just so scary. So, and I will call the authorities. Spiritual authorities and the actual police department. Calm down. Okay. And that's the thing. Y'all need to, where, where that girl at? Where Jewel? Where Jewel go? You went for your 25th birthday? Them 20s was something else, wasn't it? Where'd Jewel go? I need to ask her a question. 
She the only one that admitted that she, you know, fucks around with the fuck around. Got a question. She needs to come back before I forget the question. Trying to figure it out. Where she go? Where Jewel go? I think Sky Love. Where Sky Love at? I think Sky Love uh, with, the, with Rainbow Committed. The Rainbow Collective. She gone. I'm going to ask her a real question. I ain't trying to start nothing, but this her is Leo her. We just going to say, I'm Leo today. You going to one of them parties next week? While you out there in that world, have fun and, and, and protect yourself. Go at yourself. Don't let everybody touch on your nipples. It's an energy center. That's what was wild to me. That's when I really stepped into people. It's greedy. It is some wild shit. Be but you know, you can't really say nothing because you know you don't know who living like that. I say something now. Back then, I wasn't really saying nothing about it because you don't know who living like that and you don't want to, you know, that because people really be feeling some type of way about you not doing what they doing. Bitch, I don't have to do what you do for you to have a good time now. Is that true or not? Is you standing on what you doing or not? Oh, Susu right there. Okay, Susu, there go a question. The question is, back then, um, I don't know about now. Susu can answer that question for you. Because I don't know about now, Aya. What is your name? Patsy, Miss Patsy. So, Susu, here's my question. Okay. Need you to be honest today. This is your only chance because I don't be asking y'all to be honest because some, some people be want me cussing them out. And I don't be feeling like cussing nobody out. It takes a lot of energy. Okay, Shit happens if I cuss somebody out. My question, Susu, how, what makes y'all think that some women be fucking around that don't be fucking around? Because I done got hit on a whole lot in my life. It's like, I, I don't know why you think that. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I wouldn't know what to do with it. But I done got hit on a lot. And they be bold. Like, yeah, she down. Just, they must have picked up some freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because a motherfucker do some freaky stuff don't mean they going to do all the stuff. All of the things. So, so tell us. So, so ain't coming to answer no damn question. I'm going to keep going. All right. So, anyways... I give the energy that makes them feel comfortable. I ain't got no problem with all that, but please stop. You know, you have a, a, sen a very sensual energy. It's not that they know you with it. That shit, I've always wondered. I do have a, um, not only a sensual, I do admittedly have a very masculine <laughs> energy. I don't know if it come out. Sometimes it have come out on here, especially when I get to talk of shit. Maybe that's it too or something. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know what to do with it. And I'd probably be the worst. I would be the worst. I, I know I would be. I would be the worst that y'all have ever seen. Like that bitch just disrespectful probably. I would be disrespecting bitches. I don't know, man. That's why I can't do that. That's another reason. It's a whole list of reasons why. It ain't going to happen. It don't need to happen. I would be this. I know I would. Because I, I already expect more from women anyway. It's like women, come on. Chop, chop. Okay, y'all birthing nations out here. Chop, chop. Now imagine me messing with a woman and trying to tell her, like, babe, this is what needs to be going on. And she try to play games. I'd be pissed off. I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to figure it out. Because I, I ain't going to feel like that right there. Because I already pick up a whole lot of shit. So, you know, I know if it was a woman, I'd be picking up a whole lot of other stuff. Like, this, 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 I'd be at work like this bitch got me fucked up. Yo. I'm just saying. It's a whole list of reasons why I can't go down. Because I'd be the, I'd be the sucker punch a uh, motherfucker. It would. For real. And did make me, and I was telling my partner that the other day. Talking about you ain't normal. You like a dude or something. Okay. I had to make peace with that a long time ago. Okay. So, because everybody can't handle it. 
I see things a certain type of way. I gave birth to a lot of testosterone too. And it's like, yeah, couldn't I, it wouldn't be me. I, mm -mm. Come over here and be a, 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 fem, a female and bring love and light to the collective. I'd probably be like a lot of these dudes out here. I'd be bringing love and light and be knocking down everybody's baby mama. Because that's what they be doing. I don't know. It would have took me longer to control. I think it would have took me longer to control myself. I just wonder. It would have took a longer time for me to control my desires, my earthly desires. I, th I think so. On this path. If I had the same path and I was a dude. Mm, y'all bitches would be in trouble. Because y'all going to let me. Oh, man. I, I know it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm enlighten y'all and be I'm enlighten y'all and getting a whole bunch of draws. I know it. That's why I had to be a woman. Discipline. I don't know if I was a man, I'd be that disciplined. On you know, in all the suits of the kings and queens and things. I don't think so. Mm -mm. It's highly I highly doubt it. Alright, let's finish this read now. The fucked up. Kanoka, I don't know where that intermission went into. I don't know where that, how long we were in, in that little intermission because that just went somewhere else. It don't make sense. Okay? It's unfathomable. Fathomable. Jennifer, if you think so, I do have a divine masculine that I have met. I have met him. Okay? Somebody take a screenshot. That's a cute picture. Take a screenshot. I can send it. I'm put, put, put it on my wallpaper. With my goof ass. Yeah, we have masculine and feminine. But more one than the other one. But I met my masculine. Okay. All right. Let's finish up. What is this self-trust with these? Come on, where we at? Do it again, little bird. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, love the bird's nest. <clears throat> I'm going to wave my finger if I get it right. I think that was it. Little bird's nest. Time I do it again. All right. Look out for the kid. Oh, I don't know, baby. Because with twin flame or anything, you still have to work on your self-love. So I don't know, baby. I don't get caught up in the twin flames and the soulmate stuff. All right, let's get into it. What is this self-trust? What is this self-trust? King of Cups. All right. This is somebody that adores you or some type of energy. Let me, let me clarify what this King of Cups is. Whether you are mastering this energy or this is something that someone that's coming into your life or that you have connected to who is showing you what it is that you need to protect yourself from right um here so you just gotta really this is like you getting in a space where you really really trust yourself you really are in a space where you are connected to your star star player all right remember bargs root beer what about root what about this root beer root beer uh what you call them root beer float what is this King of Cups uh, to the earth signs? Waiting. They on their way. Somebody on their way. Okay. So you have to have more self-trust about what it is that you get. So some of y'all may have been listening to a lot of readings, trying to ask a lot of questions. Well, when they do this, what about this? And blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I'm finna go on and break it down. Like Brown. James Brown. This is what I'm getting. Whoever this person is, they have a lot going on. They have a lot of things and people um, vying for their attention doesn't necessarily mean that they out here entertaining these hoes, okay? But what I'm, yeah, that may be who it is that you are protective of because that's the way she looking at him with his big head ass. So she looking at him like, I don't know about this. And it's like, trust yourself, trust what it is that you are picking up when it comes to how this will, um, how this person will approach you or when they will approach you. 
Um, this also has to do with really grounding yourself, right? Because some of you may be so um, in the spiritual and caught up in the spiritual side of things about the connection or whoever this person is to the point where you need to get back grounded. You need to come on back down here to earth, figure out what's, what you need to be figuring out, um, inspect your body, right? Uh, step out. How will you be stepping out? Okay. This person wants to communicate with you, but they have something on their plate. See, this is where I get this from. They want to communicate with you, but they have something on their plate. This is communication, right? This is communication. This is something on the plate. Okay. Thank you. A lot of things are trying to get in the way of this. So that's like when you meet somebody, when they're when they have that pull that they can't deny. See, in the day and age, the, 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 the where we live. In the time space we live in, a lot of people don't allow themselves to explore what that pull, that energy is that pulls them to another person, right? And so it's like whoever this person is, there's a lot of things that are distractions. Um, it's the equivalent of if you are evolving into a space of you know that you are ready, but you keep going back and forth with yourself about being ready for a connection or for, you know, this affection. Because it looks like you got some affection to give, but you scared, okay? I don't know. Okay, been there, done that, got a couple of t-shirts, all right? But it's like, I don't know. I'm appalled. You ain't appalled, you are still. <laughs> but um, this person that hasn't forgotten, bad built and friend. Look at bad built. Bad built. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna do that? You should do this. Like back in the day when people really um that's why you know when I was telling the girls, and a lot of women will can vouch for this too. When somebody wants you, they gonna no matter how busy they are, no matter how much they got going on, they gonna make a way out of no way because they are following that pull, right? Whether it's just for a season or a lifetime, whatever it is, they go with that pull. Okay, but I think in this situation, whoever this person is that's on their way, you just got to have more self-trust and, and, and work on your ascension and spiritual expansion. Work, work on that, but in a grounded way, keep it practical and spiritually balanced. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is with this three of wands, right? And usually the three of wands is something on the way, somebody on the way, something is on the way, right? There's a lot of antagonists. That's what I call the bitches that this, that this, this motherfucker always going to bring some antagonists with him. Okay. It's like, baby, what are you doing? I'm sending my antagonists. Okay. He always got jazz hands. All right. Yeah. Trying to cause issues. Somebody got to see through the fog. You can't, you know what happens in this, in, when it comes to this, what happens is this person don't, won't trust they self and they'll let their guard down. Uh, change up their values or their self-worth for the other person, not knowing that this is about you gaining clarity from the heart space, right? Your second brain, gaining clarity from that second brain that you're going to be all right. Just get yourself together. Do your self-care breaks. Focus on what makes you happy. Focus on uh, loving yourself, right? Because you can't love nobody else if you don't love yourself. I'm trying to figure it out. That's why when people are like, oh, I love you. And it's like, baby, y'all know you don't even love yourself. I'm trying to figure out well, who are you talking to? All right, because people who love themselves, you can tell. You can tell somebody love themselves, right? And you can tell them motherfucker like, bitch, you do not love yourself, okay? And ain't nothing against them. It's just that stop lying. All right, you don't understand the fruit of love. Love is beautiful, okay? Love is so beautiful. Love will have you kissing the inside of yourself. That's how beautiful love is. You don't kiss yourself, okay? Move forward. All right. So you have to really go into this space where you are connecting the dots and pulling things, putting things together. That may also go with that sewing that I saw, uh, needlework or something like that, pinpointing what needs to be connected and what is that you need to be working on at this time while this person is over here battling whatever this is to get to you. That's that's crazy. It's kind of like when you watch those old movies and um, a person has to walk all these many miles across the desert land to go be with Sarah Ann face ass, right? And so it's like they go through a lot and you don't know how much a person went through to even get to you. You don't know what it is that they had to um, experience before they could fully experience you. What Canuck said. So this is a time for you to guard yourself, protect yourself, be in a space where you allow the allow things to happen. Don't try to force things to happen, right? Don't get out here looking hungry and shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even that hungry anyway. 
Because sometimes people want somebody to love them or be in a relationship because they don't, they can't find completeness. They can't find the singleness that they need, the individ individuality, the independent part of themselves that allows for them to connect with someone, but also know that they are not codependent on the person to fulfill what it is that they need to fulfill within themselves. Cause that can be a fucked up part of the game. And I do want to discuss something else about sex, but I'm not going to do it tonight. I think I went on a few tangents here today. All right. What is this uh, King of Cups and his Four Pentacles? What did she say? Yeah, because you're because when you put out a lot of energy to try to make something happen with somebody, all you're doing is depleting yourself of one of your finest resources that could be going into something that you can actually manifest instead of trying to manifest a person, manifest something that you are needing to produce for all of us into this world. I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to be loved and don't nobody okay come down hard on people who are in a space that want to be loved and a bitch that ain't never seen it before oh you just want you just you you shut the fuck up okay have a seat six of swords and the three of pentacles things are gonna work out i feel as though something is bringing you and this person together or you bringing this situation to um a little closer get a little closer and that goes into this you got the three of pentacles and then you got the two moving into the three so this too, I feel, is about your duality. The masculine side of you does need to protect, provide, and secure, okay, the perimeters. Hello. So that two is you. That three is you and somebody else that is being brought together by the divine. However, that works for you at this time. This person is worth their weight and gold, if that makes sense. So they worth their salt. Okay, what can Oak say? Did the other pen come and go? Oops. Ooh, I almost messed up, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please like the video. All right. What do you have here for these beautiful people? We got five minutes. Kano, where we at? Yeah, sex is an energy transference, but the other thing that I want to, I want to say something else about that too, though, because oftentimes people, uh, men need more, um, dick, we take dick discipline to the other level when it comes to when men have, when men have sex with a woman and they're one of their natural reactions to the moment, right? Okay, Kano. One of their natural reactions to the moment is, "I want to, I want you to have my baby." They don't be meaning that shit. That's just how much of the moment they be in. Sometimes it does happen. Sometimes it doesn't. But when it comes to the deposit that they are making in your credit union, who, um, it's very much so that they need to be careful with that because they, it, it's, a, it's more than just that uh, energy. It's about what are they depositing in your pocket book okay because it can cause issues it can cause troubles it can cause um connections that you are not prepared for and then that also goes into what are you receiving because a man is a giver a woman is a receiver what are you energetically receiving when you open your body up what are your boundaries before opening yourself up to somebody um do you want what type of deposits are you making an agreement with before you go down and pray or allow yourself to lay? We'll have to have the conversation eventually. All right. Trying to get up out of here, man. Give me a little snack or something. I, think I got a little Snickers. What do you have here for these? Uh, oh, she said time's up, didn't it? Three of swords. Sacrifice. Sacrifice those thoughts. Three of swords. Sacrifice those thoughts. You ain't got time for that shit. Oh, I think this and I think that. Look at your thinking and hurt yourself. Stop. Give it up. Okay? Hang it up. Flat screen or whatever you see. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to read that, ain't it? Okay, hold on. Do your hands like this right here, okay? You're thinking about it. Enthusiasm, trust, and confidence. Uh, this benefits, uh, this supports the respiratory system, releases tightness in the chest, ribs, and back. Energizes and cultivates enthusiasm and self-confidence. It helps with depression. You're the doctor, got the patient, don't run. All right, the instructions are to hold your hands like this. 
in front of your heart and chest with your elbows relaxed downward. Your focus or affirmation is unshakable confidence guides my journey forward. Unshakable confidence guides my journey forward. You're going to have to be caught up in your prime. I didn't mean to say prime. Whatever came out. You're going to have to be caught up in what it is that you be confident in what it is that you believe to be so. All right? You believe that your spiritual partner, you know, I think it was Tavia. I forget her name. She said that's her twin flame. That's her soulmate. Whatever that is or whatever. You, okay, you trust the process on that or not? You trying to force that to happen? You trying to do a little one-two, sprinkle do? You know what I mean? To make something happen. That's your life. Okay? Don't Don't forget Karma do spin the block. And sometimes that motherfucker come through with so much vengeance. Be careful, child. Karma do spin the block, honey. All right? All right. Thank you, Kanok. Um, I don't know who else came here as a moderator. Timestamps will be posted shortly. Um, also, Earth Signs, if you made it this far, please drop a hand down below because you are making a pledge that you will be confidently you and stand on your 10. Okay? Check your nipples, too, because that is an energy center. I mean, an energy um, portal. Okay? Check your nipples. All right? The hand emoji. They, they plan to stand on their 10. Okay? If you double it down on it, drop two hands. All right? All right, thank you. Thank you, lovely birds nest. All right, bye, y'all.